Hello everyone, once again it's me, Alulam Wantanomeran, and this is another episode of a Verse Breakdown. The verse that I want to discuss today is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10, which reads, I, the Lord, search the heart, I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. What does this verse mean? Well, let's look at that first phrase, God searching our hearts. You see, this verse isn't talking about our physical hearts of blood. No, it's talking about our spiritual hearts, what we believe in, what we do, our personality. God can see that according to Psalms chapter 137 verse 2. That is why he is able to know what we pray for before we pray for it, according to Matthew chapter 6 verse 8. However, it isn't just him who has this ability. Saint Peter was able to know that Ananias was lying to him in Acts chapter 5 verses 3 to 4, even though he hadn't actually seen the plan that he was making. Next, let's go into God trying the reins. What exactly does that mean? Well, when God tries the reins, it means that he's testing us. It means that he's seeing, okay, do these guys really have strong faith? And the reason why God does this to people who believe in him is so that their faith can be stronger and so that they can learn. For example, Jesus was tempted all the time with the Pharisees constantly insulting him and even by Satan himself in Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 13. But what did he learn from that? Obedience. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8. Therefore, when we're going through temptations, there are three things we need to know. One, God isn't the one who's actually sending us temptations. Yes, he allows it. But it is Satan who brings those temptations on us. According to Matthew chapter 18 verse 7. Two, even if we think, oh, I can't get through this temptation, God left that temptation there for us through Satan giving it to us because he knows that we can handle it. He won't give us a temptation that we can't handle, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. And finally, there is that spirit in a Christian that allows them to go through temptation. So if you're a Christian... You have that innate ability to do it. Christians can fall seven times and get up again, according to Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. Now, you might ask, well, what's the point of being tried? What's the point of being searched? Well, think of it this way. God likes the righteous, according to Psalms chapter 5, verse 4. And he doesn't like the wicked, according to Luke chapter 1, verse 50. So he has to figure out a way to distinguish between the two because there are some wicked people who could come to him and there's some righteous people who are really just pretending. So to split the righteous from the wicked and give them what they deserve, he needs to judge the world according to Psalms chapter 98 verses 8 and 9 and he will do that through Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10. It is through this judging that the trying and the searching happens. God looks in our hearts initially to see, okay, who's really bad and who's really good? Let's leave them out of the judging equation because they don't really need to get judged. Bad people like Hitler and good people like Abraham. And then once those initial searches are done, God can now start testing the righteous to see if they should really be considered righteous or if they're really just uh, going to end up falling out. That is where the trying comes in. And once that is done, once the judging processing is complete and the last days are over, then the righteous and the wicked can get what they deserve. John chapter 5 verses 28 and 29. That is where I think I can stop in discussing the verse Jeremiah 17 verse 10, which once again reads, I, the Lord, search the heart and try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
Hope you learned something, and please try to subscribe and share for more content just like this. Thank you for listening.